Hi guys, this is the second set of videos on glacial systems and processes and in this video we will be learning about the different types of weathering and erosion, glacial transport and deposition and finishing with an exam style question. As we learned in previous videos, systems are driven by inputs of energies and these processes that take place are what change the characteristic of the glacial landscape. So this photo here is just a picture of an ice sheet in the Antarctic and as you can see it has a very specific landscape which will differ to landscapes of glaciers in other parts of the world and we're going to look at how different forms of processes shape these landscapes to make them look the way that they do. Weathering is one of these processes that is shaping glacial landscapes and it can be defined as the breakdown or decay of rock at or near the Earth's surface. And this creates material that remains in situ, which means simply staying in the same place. Sorry, I just wrote the wrong word. And this material caused by weathering stays in the same place until it is moved by further erosional processes. Weathering is usually caused by biological, chemical and mechanical processes, but unfortunately due to the cold temperatures in glacial regions, biological processes very rarely take place, so we are relying on chemical and mechanical weathering. It is also important to note that the weathering process provides material for later erosion. And we are going to look at erosional processes in the next video. The most common type of weathering is called freeze-thaw weathering and these diagrams to show the process. So the first stage in the process of freeze-thaw weathering is where we have a crack in a rock and sometimes water will enter these cracks in rocks and when this water freezes and become ice it expands so that's crucial to know that ice expands and this expansion of the ice causes the rock to crack apart and shatter. And this process forms tiny pieces of shattered rock. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.